hello happy saturday it's so nice to see all of you i hope you are all doing so 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 well but yeah so i i had never heard of coffee talk either ace it's like a visual novel i downloaded it on game pass because i have like a three month free trial for game pass right now and i was just um like browse i just went through like the entire catalog of game pass games um and downloaded ones that looked cozy and this was one um so we played one stream of this two weeks ago um so we're going to continue that and there's actually the sequel to this coming out in like a few weeks i think so maybe if we finish this we can also play the sequel that would be fun um it's just like you the the premise of it is it's really more of like a visual novel so there's actually not that much gameplay um but you're like you are a barista in this like fantasy inspired world um, and you basically just have people come into your coffee shop uh, every night and you basically just eavesdrop on their conversation and uh, that's basically the whole game it's very uh chill and calming um for me at least so i hope that you all think so too okay so we are opening for day i don't know like four or five in our copy co coffee shop <laughs> Uh, and I am welcoming someone in, but I'm not that- oh! Welcome. Hello there! Good evening. Good evening, sir? Why do I feel the need to gender them? Why can't I just, like, leave it at good evening? Ah, the usual earthling linguistic problem, excuse me? <laughs> Can you imagine if you just like said hello to somebody and they're like, ah, the usual earthling linguistic problem of you being unable to string coherent words together into a sentence. We will never get used to it. Uh, is it okay if I call you sir? At least I asked. Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. Wow, his face goes rainbow when he, uh, when he laughs. We do not mind a bit. Uh, do you want to order anything, sir? Oh yes, we have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm, what do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is alright. Forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? What a weirdo. Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything. <laughs> anything? Anything. Oh my gosh, I, I actually really feel this because I'm the least de decisive person in the history of the world. And I'm like, you, you, you pick. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine with anything, okay. Chat, what do we want to make this space person? Matcha? Uh, okay, so like green tea and milk and like honey. We can pretend that that's matcha, yeah? Oh, I forgot how good the uh, barista sounds are in this game. I really enjoy it. Milk, honey, green tea. Close enough, that sounds good. Okay, let's try the latte art again because I could not figure this out last stream for the heck of me. For the heck of me? <laughs> That's not a phrase. Uh, okay, I also like don't have a controller so I don't know what the buttons are supposed to be, which is my excuse. Okay, this is a very milky matcha. How does one, okay, and that's etch. Ooh, we're doing some etching, great. Great, great, great. Invert. How do you do that, like, heart thing? I don't know how to do it in real life either, so, like, <laughs> it probably doesn't help. Okay, look, it's, um, it's a butterfly. It symbolizes the coming of spring and new beginnings. <laughs> it was 100% on purpose that I, I, I wanted it to look like this. All right, there we go. He's from space. He doesn't know what latte art's supposed to look like. Your drink is ready, sir. Uh, I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. <laughs> Wait, is he drinking it with his finger? <laughs> That's so fun. Uh... Yes? Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay. 
This is my favorite so far, my favorite character. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes. Why did you put your finger in the drink? That's a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Oh yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. <laughs> we use our appendages to drink. Usually, a polypropylene drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Polypropylene is like... Is that like the... Is that like a cloth or is that like a plastic? I don't know. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, there we go. It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. Oh, he means a straw. He wants a straw. <laughs> you mean a straw? Yes, we wonder why earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76 of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single-use pollutants on your planet. Anyway, how do you drink with a straw? The same as we just did. So, does he put the straw in the drink and then the finger in the straw? Are we gonna see this? But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. What is happening in this conversation? It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making processes. Not Spaceman calling all of humankind out right now. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? I'm so nosy. Far. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? I like how he's just steadily sipping his... Uh, milk honey green tea while we're having this this discussion find what the earthlings call a female is he here to look for a date is that why he came to earth is that why he's in my coffee shop and then breed <laughs> he's here to pick up girls so you came from a faraway place to find a date <laughs> bro <laughs> Date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. Uh, I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. Spaceman just, just coming for the throat here. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So, how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using this unique communication application. Are we gonna set him up with one of our other guests? According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. What do we think, what do we think this app is? Is it Tinder? Is that what he's talking about? <laughs> Although the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I never heard about, wait. Definitely Christian Mingle. Are you talking about a dating app? This system used a fire symbol as their sign. Is there a dating app with a fire symbol? I don't do the dating apps. <laughs> you are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. Oh, second. So close, Dermu. What do you mean? 
according to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. The spaceman really mansplaining Tinder at us? Alien splaining Tinder at us? <laughs> if you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. Uh. And when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. It didn't go well, I assume? Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that could not be considered proper. Can you imagine just hopping on Tinder and being like, I am seeking the, the start of a breeding process, please. <laughs> I I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad. Oh, some of them are laughing with texts. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. But some did. Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings. Sounds like he got ghosted. Even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone? Yes, but she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each earthling also has different interpretations of time. You're right about that. Is that it? Is that his date? Or is that that girl? Oh, good evening, miss. Is this his date? Evening. You like to order something. This this person came in last time and just like sat at the bar and eavesdropped on the conversation and then left. So we don't actually know much about them. Cafe latte, please. Uh, okay. I think we have a recipe for this. Cafe latte, coffee, milk, and milk. Uh, coffee? Oh, no, wait. That, but that. <laughs> I only meant to get one coffee. Help. Wait, can we can we trash this? Uh uh I don't want to Oh reset! Reset! <laughs> reset! I'm too late. It's okay, it's okay, we'll trash it. I think we can trash it. Trash it. Wait, I only get five trashes um a day. Well I I got an Xbox achievement for trashing it. Okay. Caught one coffee, one milk and one milk. Uh, okay, let's try this latte out again. Um, what if we invert it before we pour milk? Let's let's make a little. We're gonna make this is working much better. Look, we have our cute little uh a little heart. Uh, there we go. This is <laughs> this is slightly closer uh, to what we want. We're getting there. Thank you. How is it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. They're totally gonna hit it off, aren't they? Look, he's, look at that side eye between the two of them. Look at them. The sparks are flying. Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. He's just dot dot dotting at her. Uh... The tension and that's with one of them not even having a face. I know, right, Turtle? It's amazing. Uh, excuse us? Y yes? Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. <laughs> and she is an orc just like you. Look here. 
first, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name Uruk High 69? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god is this guy sane no he's an alien please pardon them miss i don't think they're from around here understatement of the year so you have not answered our question are you uruk high 69 this alien is smooth um yeah, I like how he's doing the little, like, please thing with his fingers this whole time. It's kind of cute. No. My name is Myrtle, and I never use Uruk High 69 anywhere. Oh. You really are not her. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something? But we don't have any friends on Earth. No. Hey, when you said he's not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting. But when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the search results. Whoa! Whoa, did they just search the thing on their glove? Is that what they're doing right now? Did they just like pull up a 3D Google shirt on their shirt search <laughs> on their hand? That's pretty cool. There are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> I like how much dot dot dotting there is in the dialogue in this game. Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. Oh, look at him doing his little please hands. <laughs> I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm. That was... We are a pretty objective people, but somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. Is it a sad feeling? This has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to read? The most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never cease to amaze us. If that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. Poor alien thing. I know, turtle. <laughs> you have a very nice place, owner. Please, just call me Pengu. Thank you for your time, Pengu. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. I uh, <clears throat> wonder what that entails. Sure. It's called norm, by the way. The uh, breeding norms. <laughs> Although you can also use strategy as the keyword. So chat, what happens if you type breeding strategy <laughs> into Google? Don't do it. Don't do it. We will keep that in mind. Okay, then we are off. Take care on your way. Oh, he's just gone. All right, let's check this little notification. To, to, how did we decide that you're supposed to say that? To, tomodachi, right? Because like tomodachi is, is Japanese for friend, I think is what Crimson said last time. Oh, Myrtle's a game developer. Game programmer working on Full Metal Conflict series. Cool. 
Whoa, boy, who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. What is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Laika the dog? Is that is that a dog that went to space? Is that what the reference there is? A date from a dating app? I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit first before going on a date? Are you kidding? If you're an astronaut, I feel like you want to flex that as much as possible if you're looking for dates. First result was a PowerPoint PDF. First result of what? I think I missed the connection there. <laughs> I mean, showing off your job is pretty common, but it doesn't have to be that literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Breeding strategies in Google. <laughs> Wait, what was on the PDF? Who was this PDF aimed for? <laughs> alien? Like Englishman in New York alien or alien alien? Do we know what an Englishman in New York alien? Oh, like an immigrant alien? Alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions, I don't know. Wow. Like, super wow. I mean, I know you got a lot of different visitors in here, but wow. Leica, is it Leica or Leica? Leica was the first animal to orbit Earth. Noted. That's super cool. I think that rings a bell. Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? Yes, the writing. <laughs> With capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? Uh... Is she doing that thing where she's like, yes, the writing is going well. I have a word. <laughs> I definitely don't ever do that with my manuscripts. What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No, please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. Why I'm so nice. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So you were planning to show it all along. I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft anyway. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. All right, all right. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? Uh, it's okay, Freya. <laughs> I don't know what that sound is. Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. Are we gonna get to read it? Or are we just gonna get a black screen while I read it? How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? Hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. Oh, I'm the main character. I see. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example? You? You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Wait, I think someone's coming. Is it his date? Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Maybe his date is finally showing up. <gasps> Welcome, would you like to drink here or take away, miss? She's cute. What is she? She's like some kind of sea creature squid thing. <laughs> Does she have a name? I don't know my like fantastical beings. Here, please. What would you like? 
Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding. I'll order right away. No need to hurry, take your time. Hmm. Is it okay if I order something a bit... Is it okay if order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like. As long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case... Do you know masala chai? Ooh, the tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai then, please. Uh, do we have a recipe for masala chai? That sounds good. I don't think so. Hmm, 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 hmm. Chat, what do we think goes into a masala chai? Probably like, so like tea? Do we have, sp oh, like ginger probably? Ginger, cinnamon? Ginger and cinnamon maybe? That sounds spicy. Let's try it. Okay, that that totally looks like a chai. Let's. Oh, do we not get to do latte art on it? Okay. Uh, I believe this is the drink you were talking about. Did I do it? From the look of it, I think so. Let's give it a taste. Oops, sorry, I clicked off the screen. Is it bad, miss? Oh no. It's really good. It just brought back some memories. I hope they're good ones. Oh, they certainly are. They certainly are. Oh, what do what do we think? What spicy memories is she thinking of? Huh? Where were we? The main character. The character feels very you. You bet. If the readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? <clears throat> sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it in unless they know me personally. Uh, having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. If you say so. Uh, sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small-scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Or non-fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Hey! Wow. How many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book if I finished it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer, but conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer, and even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. Where is alien, alien guy coming back to see the A plus communication happening between these two here? A lot of people have said that my voc vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Ah, pardon me, my name is Aqua. Hi Aqua, I'm Freya. And the barista here is Pengu. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, let's take a pause and see if she has popped up in her tomadocho, toma, tomadocho. <laughs> there we go, R&D at a university in Seattle, cool. Wow, look at her. Researcher by day, aspiring indie dev by night. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Cool, 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 cool. Oh wait, what's the other? Oh, blue pad. We unlocked the, the masala chai. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Oh wait, let's, let's also look at the other music because I don't think we did that last time. Oh, no, we did look at this next time. That's fine, we'll let it keep doing its thing. So yeah, what do you do? Uh, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Wow, Aqua is so cool. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know. Thanks. You said you can't write, but research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed, they do. <laughs> but it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? Focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the media would cover, I guess. 
That wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my. I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry I didn't mean to offend you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. It's all right. Excuse me for interrupting. Myrtle is feeling real chatty today. Yes? You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? Oh my gosh, Aqua has a fan. I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? Chat. I... I long for the day where I sit down in a coffee shop and somebody says, Oh, you were on that paper. <laughs> Lol. I did. It was pretty important for the project we're working on. Uh, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry. I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the thing you worked on. I love that series so much. My name is Aqua, by the way. But you already knew that. My name is Myrtle. Uh, what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further. But could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but, uh, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. This Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about. Is it the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. They have the budget for the flashy visuals. But I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way. And some stories can only be told through this medium. And FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. <laughs> the type of game you might see in an art gallery. What kind of games do you think Freya plays? I'm trying to think if I play any like weird, obscure art games. Slash, what kind of a game would fit in an art gallery? I feel like this is probably like the weirdest, obscurest art game I've played. <laughs> Chat, what's the weirdest, obscurest art game that you have played? Really? That's weird. No judgment from Myrtle. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play arty games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence, a lot of the players are not gamers and they're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Uh, sorry, I rambled on for too long, but at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play, those, I play those types of games thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know. Nailed it. So, you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to get home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course, it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Pangu. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. You take care on your way, okay? Will do. 
See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. So, yes, that was a nice talk. But you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. And I could see that you were reading it on and off. Well, that's kind of good. <laughs> that is a ringing endorsement if I ever heard one. Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes? Really? You're mysterious, that much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short. And I will be really honest about it. Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Oh boy. So much feedback. All right, we made it through another night at the cafe. Spanish Sahara, warm and cozy, just like a day in Barcelona. That drink still looks so, so good. I could use one of those in real life. The conversation they had is a pretty topical conversation that's been happening recently because of The Last of Us and Now Mario movies. Yeah, about like translating um, games to, to like TV or movies, right? Okay. Sunday, September 27th, 2020. The Evening Whispers. Research found that most fury sedative on the market are not safe. Profile Morris Lester from Slum to Glam. Pajama clad 27 year old actuary found decapitated. Oh my heck. Decapitated on his own bed? Yikes. Alright, well. That's the day. Do you want to order anything else? Oh my gosh, Freya is still here? Holy heck. I'm good for now. I'll order again once I I'll order again once I finish reading this. Okay then. I'll leave you with whatever that is. Hmm. Oh man. Aqua's back. Oh, Aqua, fancy seeing you again so soon. Hi, Freya. Hi, Pengu. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good, how about you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Oops, <laughs> I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? So far, it's only me and Pingu. Oh my gosh, are Aqua and Myrtle going to be a thing? They're totally into each other, right? <laughs> Who's going to break it to Alien Man? We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her here tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whether she's coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? That always works for me whenever I want to talk to someone. Uh, that wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions her team sent today. Follow up directly, I mean. Oh, Aqua has such a crush on Myrtle. Anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. I personally don't think that games uh, need a movie or TV show adaptation because the games get it right the first time around, but if a game has a story that can translate to film, then do it, but do it right. Yeah, I think that's a pretty balanced take, Crimson. I agree with that. Um, definitely in general, I think just like strong arming some form of media into another form of media, like just for the monies, like is icky. But I think I think both The Last of Us and Mario. Um, I mean, I didn't play The Last of Us, but I'll say that for Mario, I feel like they did a really good job, um, like translating the like the games to. Um, to like a narrative movie format but also incorporating 
gameplay elements, if that makes sense. I like don't want to spoil anything, but I thought they did a really good job with the Mario movie with that. And I feel like The Last of Us is quite good too. So with those two, at least I feel like um, those were good. But yeah, I agree in general, um, just like doing it for the sake of doing it is like pretty meh. All right, Aqua is going to have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon. A uh, cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon. Brew. Uh, serve it. Russian tea. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I heard about it once. She heard about it once and uh, she, but she ordered it. I'm pretty sure the only part that's Russian is the name. I mean, the name isn't even Russian, it's English. <laughs> it was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. Whoa, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. I guess I spend too much time browsing the internet. When did you arrive, Freya? I've been here since you left last night. Bulb, bulb, bulb. <laughs> Is that her sounds of shock as she glugs on her tea? That's really funny. Finish drinking first, Aqua. I'm sorry. I said, you haven't left? I was just joking. Oh, that would be crazy. Are we sure she's joking? She was here like when we opened today. Oh no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. Oh my gosh. I feel Aqua so much. She's like a researcher, <laughs> has a lot of social anxiety, <laughs> is like aquatic. Oh my gosh. Aqua is me. I found myself in this game. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, Pengu. Uh, please make sure you get enough rest. Of course I will, Miss Aqua. Thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because judging from your accent, oh, was I supposed to be doing an accent for Aqua, right? Uh, you're, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. <laughs> Whoa, so you're a full-fledged oceanic? Born and raised in the sea. Why did you move here? Chasing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? No, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh, may I know why? It's not easy for our people, especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know. But my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can't. Do you know how hard it is for my people to get a U.S. visa? I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, we're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have siblings? How do they... I guess underwater cameras are a thing. I was gonna say, how do you video call from like under, under the sea? But I'm, I'm sure they figured it out. Of course, we are sea people. My extended family is probably as big as Seattle's population. Whoa, that's a lot. You really have that many relatives? Of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandpa's kids and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy. How about you, Freya? Although first, let's, uh, let's check our, our phone notifications. Have we learned more about Aqua? A mermaid from Atlantis and a friendly introvert tea lover. Oh my gosh, I love her. Favorite things, full metal conflict, video games in general, and grandma. Oh, Aqua is my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Moved to Seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find the place and person where I belong while doing something I love. Oh, I love that. Okay, uh, let's see our new, our new Russian tea recipe right despite the name it's a totally american drink got it all right do you have any siblings i have not as many as you i assume 
I have a little brother. Four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No, he's living in San Francisco. Interesting take on a mermaid design with the tentacles that works really well. Yeah, she I totally did not think she was a mermaid, but I really like her design. Um, I, I like her character a lot. I think she's my favorite that we've met so far. He's the good kid and I'm the rebel. Working some high-end tech job while taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. Oh, she just got really intense about that. I know. Anyway, I want to order something. Another espresso? You know, the usual. Her triple shot espresso, right? Brew. Uh, serve it. Your espresso is ready. Thanks. Bitter. Just the way I love it. <gasps> Who's this? I'm trying, I'm just, I'm just appreciating his design. <laughs> What kind of an animal do we think he looks the most like? Like some kind of a rodent, right? I like his little his little head tuft. It's very cute. Good evening. He looks very down. How can I help you, sir? Ah, yes. Hmm. I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Hmm. 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 Nothing you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. If you can tell me the ingredients, I'm sure I can recreate it. Ah, lucky me. STMJ stands for Susu Telemadu Jahe. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Understood. Wait, do you have the eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf, but I'll add egg once I've mixed the rest of the ingredients. That's so interesting. Is that real? That must actually be an Indonesian drink, right? What was it? <laughs> Chat, were you paying attention? Milk, egg, honey, and ginger? Question mark. I'd love that. One. Oh wait. <laughs> One cup of STMJ, please. Okay. Uh. Wait. So the egg goes in after. There was milk. What's this? Mint? I think it was honey and ginger. This is like an incidental encoding memory task. Woo. Honey, wait, how do I add the egg? How do I add the egg? Serve it? Here's your STMG. Is it? I'm missing the egg though, right? Hmm, you almost got it right. Yeah, how do I don't I don't know how I, we'll we'll try it next time. I don't know where the egg was. I'm sorry. Care to point out the mistakes? I guess it's the honey. You should have put the ginger in. Oh, I forgot the order matters. You should have put the ginger in after the milk. So milk and then ginger and then honey. You just looked it up and it's a real drink. Does it look good, Crimson? <laughs> does it look delicious or does it look weird? Noted. Don't worry about it though. I feel like it'd be very like thick. Like you just you just put a raw egg in it. <laughs> does it does it like cook with the heat? I'm so intrigued. I've traveled to so many places in the states, and none of them got the STMJ right. Excuse me. May I ask you girls something? Sure. Ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? What a weirdly broad question. Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Uh, no, we're not. I see. Oh, he just got real close. Ah! May I ask how old? Oh, I, I'm getting sus vibes from him. Uh, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. 
Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Oh. Hey, Pengu. I just... Who is this pervy old man? I want to... I have no idea it's his first time here. If you know what horchata is, it kind of looks like that. It rings a bell, but I don't think I know what that is. I'll have to look into it. I'm always on lookout for, like, new comfy drinks. Very into it. I want to be able to understand young people. Oh, it's this guy. Thank God you're here, Officer Georgie. What's up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. This man here is Rachel's dad, Freya. Oh my gosh! It's Rachel's dad? Rachel is the, uh, like the, the teen pop star that was in here a few days ago, right? He asked to meet me, so I told him to come here. Oh. I didn't know what Rach that Rachel's dad was a pervy old man. No wonder she ran away from home. Dang. Everyone, please meet Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. Mr. Furlong, please meet Freya and Pengu. Please call me Hendry. All right, did we did he get added to the to, to, Tomodacho? Hendry. Oh, that's a cute picture. Okay, we don't know anything about him yet. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel Florencia's father? Yes. Furlong? Florencia? Why do you have different last names? Wow, you are so nosy, Freya. <laughs> what are you trying to pull? Florencia was my late wife's maiden name. Oh, I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya. Okay, I think I better work on my novel. Yeah, I think Freya may have uh, overstepped a few boundaries there, maybe. A little bit. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. If eh, Freya, I'll come with you. Anyway, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home. Was she hanging out with shady people? Well... I think one of them was a bit shady. Who was Rachel hanging out with? I forget. I forget who Rachel was hanging out with when she was in here. Oh, he's talking about Freya. Hey, I heard that. What? I'm not a criminal. I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Pengu here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything all right? It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. Wait, I guess I guess if he's Rachel's dad, he's a cat, right? He's not like a rodent. <laughs> I totally did not get that. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we end up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned give them time and space but be there when they need you or you can just bribe them one time I had a fight with my eldest daughter she didn't want to talk to me for a week I know she loves pizza so I went to Rocco's and bought her favorite pie I left the pizza on the table like a trap then I just waited for her to take the bait just like a stakeout oh my gosh when she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed a slice and sat with her. <laughs> so smooth. That pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. What if, what if she, what if what she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she's achieved with her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Not the label, not the media, not the fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl. What if she gets harassed? Or forced to do drugs? Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened. 
yet. I just feel it in my guts. Is it possible you're just being paranoid? I don't know, maybe? Psst, Pengu, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. Bye, Aqua, I love you. <laughs> oh my gosh, chat, did you hear that? I think those were like wet sounds of her swimming away or like squelching away in her tentacles. That was nice. Well, can't you find just a little, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit, but every time I brought it up, we just end up fighting. I feel like that's that's not the approach, bro. As a parent, there's really nothing much we can do. Other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions. And with everything we've taught them, hopefully they'll make the right choices. What if she made the wrong choices? I can do a background check on that manager. If that'll ease your mind. Please do. Oh, he's just doing a background check on his, his little flip phone there. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Last name Lester. Wait, did we already meet Morris? Morris Lester, got it. Oh, isn't he the- oh yeah! Wait, is he the guy that was found decapitated in his bed this morning? Who- what- what did we read about Morris Lester in the paper this morning? I forgot. Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Hold on, I gotta take this. I just got a call, I gotta go. I don't think he was the guy that was found decapitated in his bed. I forget why we saw him in the paper. I'd love to talk more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Wait, you have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait. He did not wait. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be all right. I used to manage a girl band. I've seen bad things happen. That bad? Yeah, I was against her joining that pop group at first, but my wife, Rachel's mom, she convinced me to give it a chance. Ever since she's been gone, I don't know how to talk to Rachel. With her wanting to do more of her own stuff, I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling and a solo singing career, it's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived being an idol, even managed to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? She's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There are a lot of bad people out there, people that want to take advantage of her. You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Is it really what's best, though? I think she's born to soar. But, but she's just a girl. My little girl. Seriously, that's your argument? I didn't mean to sound that way. It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. You'll drive her away if you keep on acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help her achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl too. Maybe I can give you a little advice on how to handle rebellious teens. I, I'd love to hear it. Is it okay if I stay a bit longer, Pingu? Take all the time you need. Freya out here solving everybody's problems. Oh, the Grinch, green and spicy and not everyone's cup of tea. What do we think? Is that like a green tea with a candy cane in it? I would be down to try that. I would... All of these drinks on like these loading screens look so good. <laughs> I'd be down to, to try a green spicy tea. That sounds good. I have been having this like ginger tea from David's Tea. I think it's the super ginger tea. And it's like, if you let it steep for long enough, it gets super spicy. Like legit spicy. And it's so good. I'm into it.
Okay, Monday, September 28th, 2020. Okay, uh, the evening whispers. Military personnel stationed along East Coast to prevent immigrants from flooding in from the Atlantic. Mm, sus. Werewolf representatives push the ministry for a more accessible sedative. Doctor from Sa Salach Town arrested for experimenting with child cloning? Excuse me? Wow. Sounds like there's some serious stuff going on in this universe. Are you sure that would be okay? Yes! What are we talking about? I mean, it would be really hard to pull off. But it's something that'll make the story different. Different isn't always good. If it's, it's a neat concept. But you need to handle it carefully. And gracefully. I know. <gasps> this is the werewolf, right? Hey, Gala. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? It looked like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. Pingu is just giving me feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. Sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. Oh, don't worry about it. Although, I need to interrupt Pengu for a moment. Sure, how can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Hmm, is he going to ask us to make his thing again? You remember my remedy? Of course. Do you want to give it a try again? My last order didn't quite hit the spot. Remember, it's tea and ginger. The last thing is definitely a different ingredient from either of those. Okay. Remember, it has tea and ginger. Alright. I remember messing this up last time, but I forget how we messed up. So tea and ginger... Uh, I think, I think it might have been milk was the last one, question mark? I don't know, let's try it out. The art for this game is super nice, yeah, it's like very calming and um, the sounds are also really good, I just talked over them, <laughs> but my favorite sounds in this game are like the barista sounds that happen when you're making the drink, I really like them. Ooh, latte art! All right, so last time we inverted first and it gave us more stuff, right? Let's, um, I love barista sounds. Yes, uh, Dermy was saying that you were both baristas. <laughs> we can make latte art. Yes, but I haven't been able to figure out how to do it. So my latte art is very bad. Okay, we're going to make a penguin. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then we're going to... We're gonna give it a little, a little shading <laughs> and give it a little, a little etch. Give that penguin some, some wobble. Oh, this is the best latte art we have made <laughs> thus far. Okay, okay, serve it before it dissolves into mush. <laughs> you love baristaing? That's good, Ace. Did you, bar did you barista? So you, I think Dermu said you barista at like a local cafe in your hometown. Um, that's fun. I think so. My boyfriend was a barista at Starbucks for like several years and I think he hated it. <laughs> but I feel like being a, a barista at like a local cafe would be quite fun. Oh my gosh, I love the uh, the the hot chocolate sip emotes. Another 10 10 pingu art. We're getting better at it, Crimson. We are improving for sure. <laughs> Is this it? Almost. It's not it. But no, this is not quite it. Anyway, please don't mind me and continue with your discussion. We ran it like a Starbucks, but more cozy. Oh, that sounds nice, Ace. How long were you? How long were you there for? Did you like learn all about the coffee? Um, I like know nothing about coffee, and uh, I rely on Stefan to remember my favorite drink. I think, I think it's a cafe misto is like what we have decided that I like. <laughs> so, I, but we always go, and then I have to like ask him what the name is for the thing that I like. Don't worry, Mr. Gala, we're done for the night. You're done. I have a lot of new homework thanks to you. You're welcome. I learned a lot, but TBH, the owners, were not the best in the end, so I don't think I learned as much as I truly could. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'm glad you had like a cozy, nice time despite the owners not being the best. 
Is Hyde coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. I watched this one person on YouTube that was a US barista champion of some sort and they're super, super insightful. Oh my gosh, do you have a name? I would totally check them out, Ace. It's gonna be a peaceful night then. That's mean, Freya. I was there for, I think, about a year, probably less. That's like a decent amount of time. Although I guess, like, were you in high school? <laughs> um, I guess that would have been a long time ago. Oh, come on, I was just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely, though. He might not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. We're talking about the vampire now, right? Hyde is the vampire. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. That applies to you as well. Aw, oh, come on. Is it Hyde? Oh, wait, no, he said he's alone. <gasps> It's this guy. This is... So this is the elf that's dating the uh, the succubus, right? Did, did they end up breaking up? I forget how we left their relationship. I feel like they broke up because his family didn't like that he was dating a succubus. Uh, uh, Lua, right? The, the one that looks like a, a, tief, a tiefling? A new word that I learned thanks to Crimson last time? <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Baileys. Hey, uh, how are you doing, Freya? Not good. What's going on? Pingu is just criticizing my story. <laughs> it's called feedback. It's cruel. <laughs> oh my gosh, literally me, whenever I get like comments from my professors on a manus manuscript, I wish I could just reply to each comment and being like, this is cruel. <laughs> it's necessary. Sounds interesting. What's the problem with the story? The story is non-linear and quite complicated. Imagine a choose your own adventure storybook, but for adults. Sounds pretty common so far. But instead of telling you which page to turn to, each decision you make will give you a score. What? That score will determine which page you should go to. This sounds kind of weird, but kind of intriguing. That sounds more like a video game than a book. I know it's not that original. But my target here is the mainstream audience. Huh? With the help of my publisher, this kind of book may go mainstream. Just like that choose your own adventure show on Netstream. Is she talking about a uh, kaleidoscope? Did you all watch Kaleidoscope on Netflix? <laughs> I tried. I watched the first episode and I was like, I hate this. <laughs> so I stopped watching it. I have been getting so much better at like stopping things that I'm not enjoying because I'm like such a completionist so if I like start a TV show and I hate it I like have to watch the rest of it but I am miserable but I am getting better at like recognizing when I am not enjoying a piece of media and being like I am allowed to put this down and pick up something that I do enjoy <laughs> all that to say I did not enjoy that choose your own adventure show it was nothing new but because of the marketing and the names involved, it reached the mainstream market. That sounds interesting and highly ambitious, Freya. At least it's simpler than my other idea, which is making the novel not in the form of a book, but in the form of story cards. What? I know, right? As if she has all the time in the world. And that's before even considering the sensitive issue of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. What did you say? No, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Just wait until I finished it, okay? All right, all right. As Pingu said though, I won't have the time. Getting a normal pitch approved is already a steep climb. Let's not make the mountain even higher. Fair enough. What's the story all about, by the way? You'll have to wait for it. Don't want to spoil the fun. If you say so. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. What do you want to drink tonight? Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. Okay, do we have a recipe for a ginger latte? I kind of feel like we don't. Ooh, we unlock more friendship information. Gala, a veteran now working in a hospital. Okay, go get him feeding the little thingy. Uh, okay, ginger, what, he wanted a ginger latte, right? I don't think we have that unlocked yet, so let's figure it out. So, latte is coffee and milk, right? So if we do coffee, 
and milk and ginger that should make a ginger latte right let's try it ah excellent barista sense okay let's make some latte art what should we make this time chat um let's make a let's make a ginger a ginger root <laughs> okay are you ready for this uh this is my Ooh, this is my ginger root does it look like a ginger <laughs> okay let's do uh um what is the etching doing oh we're adding some little woobly swirls on here and we're going to just like use milk to color this in there we go maybe add a little bit a little bit of texture on that ginger root <laughs> This is a masterpiece. Look at that. It's beautiful. I would hang that on my wall. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Listen, turtle. <laughs> it's good, but... But... You need more ginger. What? Not that it's bad or anything. I guess it's just my personal taste. Noted. Pingu, the master of coffee art. The way she looks at him. I know, the like, the tension you can feel between the characters in this game is really impressive considering they're just like, stationary pixels. <laughs> and sometimes don't even have faces. <laughs> that emote is so funny, Turtle. By the way, how are you doing, Baileys? <laughs> how are you doing, Baileys? Is how I, I envision her saying it. Still busy with your last client? Oh, I'm done with her. <laughs> done? As in you're dropping the project? Hey, I'm not crazy. I still need the money. Done, as in I finished the job. I spent the last few days making sure it's even done before the deadline. Wow, he is so on top of it. Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. She had some complaints, of course. What does he do again? What was it? What was this client? Does anybody remember? Let's let, let's check. Bailey's. What does he do? Freelance designer. All right. Museum and art gallery frequenter art school graduate will draw and design for food and shelter. Okay, so he had a like a design client that he was doing art for. Gotcha. But I convinced her by using some design term she doesn't understand. So you finished your job by bullshitting her. The finest bullshit, my lady. That's one survival skill every freelancer must have. Are you working on anything right now? No, I'm taking a break from work. Must be nice. I need to work on a few personal matters. Oh. Like you and Lua? Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How did you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. I don't mind. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know? Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? You're right. So, I was a bit of a player back in college. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> and I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Wait, what? Okay, I'll say it slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. What is an incubus? Do we know what an incubus is, chat? Okay. Let's call him Cognac. Ca Ca Is that how you say this? <laughs> I, I am re realizing I don't know if I've ever said that word out loud. It's a succubus, succubus but a male. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ca Con Cognac. That's what we're going with. <laughs> it's a real uh, Cameleon moment. Cognac has a girlfriend, still following, and that girl has a friend. The friend is the one I'm after. Okay, got it. She was one of the hottest girls there. 
but everyone knew she wasn't the, t the type of girl you'd want to date? What does that mean? It's, I don't want to get into details, but this succubus was super hot and all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She was a player too. Huh? Is he talking about Lua? Is Lua the succubus? That doesn't sound like Lua at all. Because it wasn't Lua, genius. Okay, he's not talking about Lua. Lua was my friend's girl. Oh, geez. This is juicy. Holy moly. This is getting spicier. The other girl's name was, let's just call her Rose. Continue. I knew Lua thanks to her relationship with Konyak. I know, right, Turtle? So much tea. I really like that Freya, like, really just goes whole hog and digs around <laughs> for all the gossip. I'm here for it. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yes. Now, will you let me continue without interruptions? Okay, okay. So I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. It annoyed her so much, but I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty active guy back then? What does that mean? Active how? So Lua came over to visit us at one point. Did he active on her? Incubus also try to attract women like how succubus attract men, but over time that part of lore for them has changed and they attract both men and women. Interesting. Wait, so it's like the succubus lore, they only attract men, but incubuses attract both of them? Interesting. Uh, do we know why that is? <laughs> Crimson's just my lore encyclopedia. Uh, okay, so Lua came over to visit us at one point and buy icons. Yeah, 100% turtle. I'm here for it. I lived with Cognac back in college. I'd been out and I got back just as Lua arrived. A total coincidence. We went into our place together and witnessed something. Surprising. Oh, chat, what do we think they witnessed? Cognac was sleeping with Rose. Yikes. Holy mother of moly. Big yikes. My bad incubus only... Oh, my bad incubus only attracted men, but over time it changed to attract both. The same with succubus, but they only attracted men, but... Oh, so for both of them, they only attracted men at the start. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I'm shocked. Shocked. Shocked, turtle. As you should be. This is shocking stuff we are uncovering here today. The disbelief, anger, sadness. And without even thinking about it, I punched Cognac in the face. You what? I got into a fight with him. Oh, I haven't told you. Cognac was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tutor for kids. He's pretty good. This story is taking all kinds of twists and turns. Oh my. Yeah, I landed that one punch and he beat me to a pulp. Easily. Lua begged me to stop fighting on her behalf. <laughs> More like she begged Cognac. Hey, I wasn't kidding. I lost, but I don't give up so easily. I was beaten pretty bad. So Lua took care of my injuries. We grew closer after that. And I don't even remember the exact date, but suddenly that friendship turned into a relationship. That was one hell of a story. I know. Have you seen her by any chance? Yeah, Lua came by a few days ago. How is she doing? She hasn't returned any of my calls or texts. Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She got into an argument though. With whom? There was this male model. A model? I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. Oh, they weren't together. What were they arguing about? Well, we were talking about your relationship. Lua told us about the reason behind the fight. About your family stuff. And then this guy, Hyde, joined the discussion. Oh, I forgot Hyde is a supermodel because he's a vampire that never ages. <laughs> what did he say? He didn't understand why Lua would insist on getting family approval. Considering, you know, what? You're willing to leave your own family. You would do that for her? Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. 
Why would you say that? Let me tell you about my family. Or I should say, most elven families. They all think they're so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there are certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. You must never, ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. You can only have certain jobs. Jobs that are deemed worthy and successful. Like being a doctor, a lawyer, a CEO. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something elves would deem suitable. Unless you become the next Da Vinci. So when I switched from a business major to an art major, my parents went crazy, screamed like they were on fire. They told me that I'd never be rich or successful. All that because you chose an art degree? You want to know the worst part? They blamed Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art. Yelled about how her kind is ruining the country. Accusing their religion of worshipping the Dark Lord. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Whoa. I mean, come on, this is the 21st century. That's so not cool. I don't want to sound judgmental, but your family is racist. <laughs> Freya calling it like it is. Tell me about it. Lua is the only person that can make me feel alive. Oh, she showed me how I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't understand why Lua is so obsessed with the idea of reconciliation with my family. I just don't get it. I have no problem leaving my family, you know. I would happily leave them for the both of us. Man, this is like, I can, I can see, I feel like this, I don't know, maybe you all feel differently, chat, but I feel like both sides have like, very relatable sentiments here. You know, you know, I feel like the characters in this are like kind of taking sides being like, obviously, like, she shouldn't be so hung up and she should just leave her family because you're leaving your family. But also I like, I get being like, you know, fam family is important, you know. I would like to maintain relationship with them. Like, I, I very much feel that tension, personally. What about her? What about her and her family? You may be happy to leave your family. However, it may not be the same for her. I... Gala, do you have something to say? Perhaps you could give us a different perspective. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Yeah, it's very relatable. I couldn't help overhearing your story. I assume that the person you're talking about is not an elf, correct? Yes, she's a succubus. I see. I'm a werewolf. Uh, thanks for letting us know, Gala. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We'll put family before any other. We often have our own problems within the pack, but we won't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes about succubi are true? Here we go. Gala giving us uh, some, some good points for the other side here. I never thought of it that way before. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a difficult spot. Yes, preach Gala. She might feel responsible for your actions. There's nothing to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you to say that now, but you don't know what the future holds. One day, circumstances might change. One day, one of you might regret your decisions. <laughs> Uh, Bailey's looks like he he is not here for this conversation. He does not want to hear what Gala has to say. But, you know, I think he needs to hear it. One day, you might use the I left my family for you card. We love each other. I'll be with her whatever the circumstances may be. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first, but over time it will die down if you don't maintain it. 
He doesn't want to hear because he knows it's true. I know, Crimson. He's just not ready for it. Maintaining it won't be easy. It'll be hard work. Because life... Life is full of storms. And marriage, it will not survive on love alone. Whoa, that's deep. <laughs> we'll have each other and that's... Okay, I'm getting a little tired of Bailey's idealism here. <laughs> Tell me, do you have health insurance? What? I'm an elf, why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. What for? Immortality is an elven privilege, but you'll lose it if your family disowns you. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or got seriously injured, emptied their entire life savings for an $8 pill because in this country they charge $20,000 for it. We are getting really real here in this conversation chat. And if you decide to have children, they won't have the same privilege as you do. <laughs> Okay, then do you have elf insurance, Baileys? <laughs> what do we think elves need to be insured against? I'm sure there's something. <laughs> there's a high probability that they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Anyway, I've got to go. <laughs> Gala just walking in here, dropping some truth bombs, and then just like dusting off his hands and walking out of there <laughs> being like this is not a me problem i apologize for my intrusion no thank you for your insight i've got to go too want to head out together sure thanks for the drink pingu and freya bye <laughs> look at that look at that look that this elf is giving me <laughs> that stare is a bit intense What? You made me lose two customers in a minute. Hey, that wasn't on me. They were leaving anyway. Are you gonna write that in your book? It's a secret. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world with only humans around? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Sounds like a great idea. Oh, this is the SJJTMRL <laughs> that the uh, that Rachel's dad wanted, right? Ja Jahe Tubruk? That's what we're going to call it. Ginger presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. Wait, so you leave the grounds in it, and then you put ginger, and then you put an egg in it, right? This sounds interesting. I feel like this could be really, really good. Where can I get one of these? <laughs> All right, Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. What is in the news today? WHO vows to stop major hospitals selling Fury sedative illegally. Couchella 2020, 10 reasons why you should go. Sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away. So do we think Couchella is like a music, it's like a music festival that you can enjoy from the comfort of your couch. Hmm. Oh, Hyde is back. He never really changed. I know. But it was surprisingly nice catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, Pengu. I'd like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment. Yes. You know what? Try adding milk to the ingredients you already- Wait! I did milk. Did I just do it in the wrong order again? Try adding milk to the ingredients you already have. Alright, you know what to do. So, oh heck. I forgot what the other ingredients were. It's tea and ginger, right? Okay, so I think it was tea, ginger, and milk. And I think that's the order we put it in last time. So this time, let's try tea, milk, and ginger. 
Wait, did we do it? This looks like a thing. What is the symbol? I think maybe we did it. I think maybe we did it. Try this. Thank you. Just what I need. Did we do it? Did we do it? What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I think we did it. So that was his like his fury sedative, right? So now he won't go all crazy at the full moon. Okay, let's see what we have unlocked here. Did we do it? Did we do it? Uh, G Gala, Gala had ginger chai latte. Good to calm yet warm your nerve. Oh my gosh, all of these are making me want to just like get up and make a a warm, comforting beverage. <laughs> uh, okay, wait. Let's. Tomodacho. Gala. Food, his favorite things. Anything warm and made with ginger. Oh, that sounds so comfy. Music, metal maiden. Books, full metal jarhead. There's a lot of full metal in this game. What I'm doing with my life. Trying to heal myself by helping other people heal. Oh, wow. So wholesome. I like him a lot too. I think Aqua is definitely my favorite character so far. But I think, I think Gala is my second favorite. I really like Gala too. I don't know. Who do you like, chat? Who are your favorite characters that we've met so far? I definitely identify with Aqua the most. I love her a lot. And her design is really cool. She's a cool mermaid. Next time you stream this, you should make one of these drinks to go along with the game. Oh my gosh, I totally should, Crimson. I totally should. That's a really good idea. Was Aqua the fish girl? I missed most of her. Yeah, she's a mermaid. Isn't she like a cool mermaid design? She has tentacles, but she is a, uh, she's a researcher into like, um, she's like a computer science researcher and she makes video games in her free time. And she like has a lot of anxiety and just really likes tea. <laughs> um, and I identify with her a lot. Also the fact that she's like water, she comes from the ocean and I am very much like a water person. <laughs> so I like her a lot. Okay. Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. Instant fave. I know I love her so much. I could, I, you're a water person too, turtle. <laughs> Arguably more so than me. Um, I couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back. Didn't we establish that they've known each other since like the 60s or something? We do. Oh, wait. He was he was your bodyguard. We didn't know this. Oh, didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was. Wait, who are we talking about? We're not talking about these two. When this is a bar. What? Oh, maybe we're talking about these two. So they met at this this establishment before I took over and turned it into a nighttime coffee shop. He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. Ugh, those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? <laughs> Just because I'm a vampire, it doesn't mean I know kung fu. Do we know any vampires that know kung fu? I cannot think of a single example of a vampire that knows kung fu until you gentrified it. Um, Shh. <laughs> That's not what we did. We just turned it into like a hipster. Whatever, turtle. <laughs> it's very cozy now. <laughs> Besides, I've had a couple of drinks. I could have taken them both if I was sober. A couple, really? You were trashed, Hyde. You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. That is like a risky strat if you're like get into a fight and you just like get the nearest big person you can find and be like they're my bodyguard <laughs> but because of the, that whole fiasco we both got kicked out and then this wasted vampire is stuck to me like well you know to a blanket what i'm missing the reference here obviously he was too drunk to drive what sticks to blankets what stinks to, sticks to blankets that's so, uh, like, questionable that he can't even say it? <laughs> so I hailed a cab. Turns out he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck with him until morning. Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Those dwarves could have killed me. I thought vampires were immortal. Who are they? 
Well, I guess you're like, can't be immortal to like a good beating. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they may have had ties to the mafia. Ooh, dwarf mafia. D -d -d mafia. <laughs> Uh, and I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. Yikes. A lot of their money. Yikes! <laughs> I swear this game just like feeds me the dialogue that I'm actually saying out loud. They wanted me to launder their dirty money. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck, the universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. Oh, he's his guardian angel. That's so sweet. So the next morning, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before. Hey, I took you to breakfast. <laughs> Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? War veterans. Ah, I see. So how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital, Gala? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed. Hide? I'd prefer it if we skipped that part. Ooh, what did Hyde notice? I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. Well, it's all right. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with something. Let's just say something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or a doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his sub stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, Pingu, I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Is he going to ask me for like blood coffee again? Can you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? Ooh, so like something minty, right? I'm assuming he wants. How about like a... Is this green tea? Like a minty green tea? That sounds good, right? Wait, what is... Oh no! No, reset. Warm. This So a normal tea is four warms. This is two warms. Green tea and mint? That's warm and cool. Maybe we can like boost the warm a bit. What adds, what makes it more warm? Uh, milk? No. Ginger? Green tea with mint and ginger? That sounds good. I would drink that, right? Warm and cool at the same time. Mint, ginger, green tea. Mm, that sounds good. Uh, serve it. Here's your order. If only it was tea. Wait, it was... Did you saying green tea is not tea? Excuse me? What kind of a tea... Gate... Gatekeeper... Tea... Ick, that. <laughs> I guess he wanted black tea. Well, you should have specified. Green tea is still tea. Don't, 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 don't be like that. <laughs> Pardon me for the mistake. Should I make another one? No, it's fine. <laughs> By the way, it feels like this place is missing something. Is it missing Freya? Have we seen her yet today? Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Is that her? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hello, good people. And one vampire? <laughs> Rude. It's good to see you too. By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. 
Is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. Why does Faye think everyone is hitting on her? I have no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. Fern. He is a supermodel. You... You look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work? Uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed Pingu my draft. And I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. And I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. But please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Oh my gosh, Gala is like so, he's like so caring. He just wants to take care of everybody. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admining life going? That's not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. Hmm, it's pretty boring to talk about. But mostly, I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care, such as operations, I go through, I go through what we'd do and how much it would cost them. Kind of like biz dev for people's lives, then. You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. He is complicated and hard. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necessity of it. Exactly, it's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. I feel like this is the case in like, I mean, in many places, but also like in academic departments, people like don't really, like, I feel like good, good like admins in, in especially like graduate program admins will like make or break your experience in a program. It's like not even just the profs, like admin staff are critical. Give them much love. <laughs> Maybe because most admins are just like me, we rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? Well, for me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. <laughs> he needs to be a bit less loyal though. Hyde, you've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait, 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy mother of moly. <laughs> Ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions, mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. That's Gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you gonna stay, Hyde? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yup. Safe trip. See you around, Pingu. And you, Freya. See ya. Take care on your way. You know, it's kind of hard to believe someone like Gala could be your best friend. I feel like that's a burn at, uh, at, at Hyde here. <laughs> it's like, this is this like amazing, lovely, caring person. How is he friends with you? <laughs> oh really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So how did you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story. Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? All right then. 
we met in this place back when it was a bar and I got the lights punched out of me and he saved me. Whoa, I never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did he make the jump from, how should I say this? A very physical job to medic. Hyde is looking like, please, I don't want to be here anymore. I know, right, Turtle? I mean, I feel like Freya is like, is, is, I like that she push it, pushes for the goss, but I feel like also sometimes it's a bit much. <laughs> well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Uh, I don't know, Freya. Seriously, Freya. Come on. I won't get into details, but going to war, it messes with your head. Oh. You see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did work that relied on his muscle. That won't help him get over his trauma though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle? Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. So no personal feelings. I needed his strength. But then I got to be interested in him. Interested? I think he's a cool person. <laughs> That's all. And after a few months, I noticed his problem. His werewolf problem? Is that what he's talking about? I suggested he talk about it with someone. Seek help. No, he's talking about like a different problem. Which he refused. No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did go to get professional help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in his therapy sessions, but in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me, and not so long after that, he started working at the hospital, and he's been work- Oh, who's coming in now? Who do we think it is? <gasps> it's Spaceman! Faceless Man! <laughs> I like how he just sits himself down, like, right in the middle of everybody, and is like, I will insert myself here between you Earthlings. Oh boy. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you, barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. He's so smooth, holy heck. Oh yeah, this alien spaceman totally knows what's up. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. On Earth. Please call us Neil. Oh, we just got a, an Xbox achievement for making friends. Neil. Oh, is he in our to... One of these days, I will, I will say this without stuttering. Um, well, he said that we could call him sir, so I've been using he, but I've noticed that he uses like we as his pronouns, so I don't know. Tom, Tomadacho, there we go. Oh, we learned more about Hyde. Vegan vampire professional model. Wow, look at, look at Hyde here, <laughs> striking a pose. Okay, uh, Neil. Okay, we don't know anything about Neil. That's fine. We will uncover it. Neil. <laughs> Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication. We do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with Earthling efforts in intergalactic exploration. <laughs> Oh, I get what you mean. I hear Neil and I think Gaiman, not Armstrong, <laughs> but I'm, he's definitely going for the Armstrong Association. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hide. You come here often? For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Ooh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. 
Where do you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calcula calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We chose this appearance based on an image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Ah, the Ar Arami Genju album cover? Arami Genju. Which album are they referencing here? No wonder you look familiar. As for what we are doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual, that is how you say it, yes? Except that last time he walked in and was like, give me anything. <laughs> I don't know if you can say the usual after that. So, anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything. Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise, but we doubt you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. Okay, how do we make him feel things? What recipes do we have? Let's try to unlock something new. Uh, so we have, so maybe like, my first instinct is to give him something that like has a lot of caffeine <laughs> to make him feel something. Um, what do we think chat? What do we think will make this alien feel stuff? Or are we going for like emotional feels? Like something really soothing? Maybe, hmm. I think I wanna go with coffee. Maybe like two coffees. Oh. So we, coffee, milk, milk, coffee, 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 and coffee, coffee, milk. I think maybe like coffee, coffee, like, I think I want two coffees. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Let's go with like honey. Cinnamon? Ooh, cinnamon coffee. That sounds good. Let's do that. I don't think it's gonna work, but that's fine. <laughs> oh. Uh, serve it. A cup of anything is ready for you. Thank you. <laughs> what the? Interesting. What are you doing? Drinking? That's how they drink. Oh boy. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. Who are you, that Neil? <laughs> Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. Oh, is this why he came here looking for females? He is tasked with the mission of spreading his seeds. Uh, okay. <laughs> you really are here to find a date. All the way from a galaxy far, far away. Wow. It turns out pervs exist everywhere in the universe. Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand, but we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm, we are sorry, but that is classified information. <laughs> Aw, man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it is going well. I'm not surprised. With how quirky and unique you are, not many women can handle that. <laughs> Could you handle them, though? Okay, I think we should switch to they, them pronouns for a space. Them. <laughs> Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further if it got you a good story. Oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the <laughs> It's like he was trying to offend her. Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. I'd go on a date with them, but I don't like to sleep around. 
Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Look at Freya being so open-minded. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? <laughs> wow, no, mo no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. <laughs> is he about to propose to Freya? Are we going to have a wedding? This is... This is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives? I mean, I feel like many is a stretch. <laughs> yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. <laughs> then why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation <laughs> problems? <laughs> My gosh, she's saying, if you're stuck with one person, how come you still have babies? <laughs> Now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of ourselves, and those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live for a very, very long time. So, even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will. But we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. Oh, he is mistaken. He is very mistaken here. At least, that was what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? <laughs> First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time, okay, so this is Freya laying out the uh, breeding strategies of Earthlings. Most of the time you start by dating, boyfriends or girlfriends, you know, before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? <laughs> now, the path to starting to date varies between people, but usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow, the breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. I hope you're taking, I hope you're taking notes, Blueberry. This is good stuff here. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker, and we have established that Hyde is very smooth. <laughs> smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms. It is something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? Oh boy, chat. We're really having this conversation. <laughs> Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. So we talked about using condoms, but how do your kind have sex? Like, seeing how you drink, a condom might be something you can't use at all. <clears throat> hmm. That's true. How do you do it? We are pretty, is that supposed to be a pun? We're pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the details. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Unless we agree to do the mating ritual. I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that, especially the mental part. We did our research. And we tried it on the testing object we made. He made a he made a sex doll. I'm I'm feeling uncomfortable with the direction this evening is taking. 
It was proven. The mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. <laughs> you know, his, his sex doll. To practice his Earthling mating rituals. He, he made sure that he did not mentally harm it. It's, it's fine. Makes total sense. You know, I didn't think this game would go this way. I didn't either, Crimson. <laughs> I really didn't. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. <laughs> You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. Ooh, glad that conversation is over. <laughs> that was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. And then they took Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer orc? Wow, I dread to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivety. I guess so. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? Rachel, the teen pop star cat? No, but we've seen her day. Oh wait, Lua? Her, her dad. They were very unjudgmental in that conversation. Yeah, I think, I think it went about as well as it could have in game. I just didn't know how ready I was to read the rest of the conversation out loud. <laughs> yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was being pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make it's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation unless it really piques his interest or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow. So, I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. He doesn't even live here. Doesn't he live in like LA or something? Oh well, it'll be a peaceful week then. Anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that either. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. Well, that's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. All right then, see you around. Take care on your way, folks. Ooh, what a day. What a day we had in this coffee shop. Espresso, blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Okay, so I'm gonna progress just so we can save, but I think we are going to call it for the stream today.